And here we go. We are live. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris. This is my channel. We love comics. And before and I start, go. I want to make live. sure... Oh, first, I want to do is make sure I shut that off so you don't hear an echo the whole time. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching. And um, while I'm waiting for people to come in, I already see a couple people already in the chats. Um, quick shout out. Uh, Harvey, you're first today. And uh, he says, congratulations, uh, the St. Louis Blues won the Stanley Cup, so anybody out in St. Louis or anybody a St. Louis Blues fan, uh, congratulations. I am actually an Islander fan, but um, you know what? Nothing wrong with congratulating the winners. So I'd like to welcome everybody for coming in. This is a channel that talks about comics. It talks about speculation. It talks about the love of comics and sharing my little world of opinion. Now... I'm going to show you six comics that I think, in my opinion, you should be getting. Um, these are books that are slightly under the radar. And always keep in mind that rumors may end up not being accurate. Rumors can actually change. Movies could not be made. TV shows cannot be made. A movie or TV show could end up being bad. Who knows? So there are always risks involved. If you buy comics solely for the investment purposes and you don't enjoy them, if they fail, you're going to be stuck with a bunch of things you're not happy with. So I highly recommend if you are going to invest in anything, first of all, you should have knowledge of what you're buying and you should also have a passion about it because then if things don't work out, you're still happy. So keep that in mind. I always want to make sure I let people know there are always risks involved. So with that being said, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, I am trying to sell my um, mystery comic boxes. They will help us eventually move, but they are still helping uh, try and help our cat Luna with her medications and things like that. So anybody that's interested in the um, comic book packages, I just posted the link, but it's also in the description. Um, it will help. So um, that's one of the main reasons why I'm doing this. It was originally to help us move. But most of you know our cat Luna has um, heart problems and also diabetes. Um, Robotic Lock, who I've never seen here before, did a super chat. Thank you. That was very nice of you. So um, anybody that ever does a super chat, obviously that's not mandatory or anything. But I always make sure as soon as I see it, I want to make sure I give a little shout out. So anybody that does a super chat, if you have a um, website or anything you want to promote, just mention it, and I'll be more than happy to do that for you. So thank you for that. But let me say hello to a couple of people. I want to make sure I give enough people here an opportunity to come in before I start showing the books. Uh, Harvey, who is one of my moderators, he was here before the um, video started. So welcome. He's first today. David, good to see you. Laro, Zach, Craig, Gizmo, another moderator. The Kid, Wild Child, Jester, Agent, Oink, Oink. Uh, I'll tell you, you guys come up with some great names. Gorilla Grodd, good to see you. Blue Marino, George is here. S Cargo T80, Q Ball. I'm not sure if I said that, but just in case. Uh, Robotty Clock, Devil Dog. We got some interesting ones. Lee Smith, the um, relief pitcher of the St. Louis Cardinals in the 70s is here, ladies and gentlemen. We have some greatness. Smoke Ghost, Orchid Child. Robert is here. Um, G Man's Collectibles, of course. Uh, Robert Locke. Touch of Chaos, Peter, and many, many more. I could go on, but you guys are here for the comic books. So, let me put on the video camera. And like I said, if you're interested in those comic boxes, um, like I said, they are helping to um, get medications and things for our cat. So, you are helping for a good cause. I'm not just doing it because I like selling my comics. That's one of the good things about buying multiples of comics is I'm actually... In my mystery boxes, they are all my duplicates. And that's why I always recommend to people, get multiple copies of books, especially ones that you love, so if the situation ever comes up where you have to sell them, or if you want to do a trade, you can actually do that and still own the copy. So to me, that's a beautiful thing. And I just wanted to show up top the uh, gift that I was given a couple of days ago from uh, Mr. Comics 89. I put it up on the, my little mantle there. So I could proudly display it. And that was one of the gifts from my uh, awesome subscribers with a random act of kindness. All right, so I see enough people are in here. So let's start getting into these. Now, the first one is a video I did the other day. Um, I bought these a while ago. But uh, this is one that just, uh, the announcement was just the other day. 
So this is the book in the video from the other day. This is Oblivion Song, issue number one. I paid a grand total of $4.85 a piece for these months ago. Because um, I heard some rumors, and I made a video about it a while ago. But back then it was just rumors from sources, nothing confirmed. But they're saying now that it actually is confirmed that they are going to be doing a movie. So this is a book a lot of people picked up. And I do know that um, I am an influencer. Because I actually went to eBay yesterday to see, after I made the video, how many people were not only uh, buying this book, but actually all of a sudden selling it. And there were literally probably 100 or more new auctions of either sold or selling of this book. So I take this very seriously. So I'm not going to show you books that I'm going to be selling to turn into a profit because these are not for sale. I am holding on to these. Um, there might be one in a mystery box if somebody um, orders it and says they want some independence. I could throw one of those in there. But um, I want to make sure I am very responsible with this. So I'm only mentioning books that I think have a pretty decent chance. So um, keep that in mind. But I definitely know that what I my videos will influence people. Even people that don't like me, I've seen people, because I know some of their eBay things because I could tell by their background sometimes even some of the people who don't like me listen and then either sell or buy the books so I know I influence people whether they want to admit it or not so I do take this very seriously um, Harvey says can we count on a comic book adaptation of oblivious song movie well nothing is guaranteed so I mean it's hard to say we can only speculate at this point and remember like I said just because somebody has the rights to a movie doesn't mean it's going to get made or it's going to be good. So let's hope it's a good one. You know, Kirkman is involved in it, and um, hopefully his influence will keep it into something more positive. So I also wanted to show this other one. So this is the pink variant. Now, as you see, it's almost exactly the same. It's just right here. It might be hard to see. The signature of the artist of the cover is actually in pink instead of gray. This one is rarer. This is the one I recommend because the other one, there's going to be lots of copies of that because you know Kirkman. He's he's really good at marketing, but he's also he's going to flood the market with his books. But I mean, flood the market these days is like 100,000, 200,000 copies. Nothing near the 90s when the average flooding of the market was 5 million and higher. So even though there might be, I think somebody said there was like 800,000 copies of that. I mean, you're talking millions of people now all of a sudden, you know, that collect comics, there's not enough for everybody. So especially when people get multiple copies, there's going to be less. Now for those that say, oh, how dare somebody hoard books? I wanted to buy that book. Well, I'm sure you can get a dollar version of it. You can get a um, online copy of it. There's always ways. So, you know, people want to always find some negativity of it. But this is the rarer one. The rarest one came in a collector's edition, which came with a statue and this was basically had a silver embossing. I haven't seen that book for under $200. Um, that one, hey, if you can get it, that would be the ultimate one to get. That's going to be the rarest one. But um, it's going to be expensive. This book um, I paid $11.79 for. I bought it again months ago. I have got two more recently for $20 a piece. I've already seen them as high as $40 to $50 now. So the prices are going up. So that's book number one. All right, another one that people have been saying is a rumor. And keep that in mind, this is a rumor at this point. But this is definitely a book if you can acquire, pick up. So these are all newer books. This is Young Avengers number one. This is the first appearance of Kate Bishop slash the newest Hawkeye. I paid $40 for this book a little while ago. That's probably about the range you're going to pay, probably a little bit higher at this point. If she ends up in a movie, this will go up. If she does not end up in a movie, this will go down. So it really is a hit or miss with this one. But with a lot of inclusion of female character these days, the odds are greater that this person may eventually get into a movie or be a part of one. Who knows the extent of it and who knows if it's going to pan out. But always better to get these early. I mean, if you bought this the day it came out, what do you got to lose? Um, I thought $40 was a um, average price to pay for this book. I mean, this one looks like it's in 9.8 condition. So that's the only reason why I paid that. If it was lesser, I wouldn't have paid for it. But I'm sure people can find deals if they hunt 
Me, I just like to get it quickly online and have it delivered to my door. Now, this is a book I got a while ago. I actually have two copies of this book. Um, the version that I have is um, signed by four artists. Now, one of my subscribers told me about this. I looked it up and I could not confirm it. So this one is the riskiest of them all because I cannot find if this is true or not. Uh, but if it ends up, it is true. The books will go up in value. Right now, you can get them. Even the signed ones for pretty cheap. I got this for a steal compared to what it is now. This is Paper Girls number one. Now, this was signed. I think I have two, if not three, copies of this book I bought months ago. Uh, this is signed by Brian Vaughn, Cliff um, Chuang, or Chiang, forgive, forgive me if I butcher that, Matt Wilson, and Jared Fletcher. So four signatures. I've seen this online for about $99. I paid $17.98 for this book. So there are rumors, but this one is the least confirmation-wise of the books I'm showing. But always better to get these books beforehand because you know what will happen once it's confirmed to the price of these books. So they have unsigned. You could probably easily get this book for under $10. This is the first print. There are a couple of different prints. I think they go by different colors. I think the second print is all pink, but I, I, I'm not sure, so correct me if I'm wrong, because I know some of my subscribers are much smarter than I am. So this one came with a certificate of authenticity. Um, couldn't find the other one, but I know I have multiples of this book. I bought them a while ago, and that's why I always tell people, don't always wait until there's a hype or a rumor. Trust your own instincts. And go with it from there. So if this becomes popular, you know, this is going to be a three, four, five hundred dollar book, especially with all these signatures. I paid seventeen dollars. So if it doesn't pan out, I did not lose the farm over it. So that's why I always tell people, don't always base it on emotion. Try and go by, you know, your instincts, do your own research, draw your own conclusions, and sometimes even make a prediction as the way things are trending, where things might go. Because like I said, you notice a couple of these have to do with female heroes because a lot of stuff these days is going towards more feminine kind of stuff. Whether we like it or not, you can use that to your advantage in ways of making profits if that's something you're looking for. Obviously, if you want to read these and everything just for reading them, you don't need a signed book and you don't need a high grade. You just get the cheapest one possible. It depends on what you want to collect for. All right, so here's the next one. This is another one I bought months ago. Um, I got the, this one was dual signed. And this is another one where they said there's rumors about a movie. This is die number one. This is the Virgin variant, the Forbidden Planet signed Virgin variant. It's signed by Stephanie Hers and Kirian Gillen. This is limited to 800 copies. Now, I know there's even a rarer one that's limited to, like, I think three to 400 copies. And again, the regular copy, the regular number one, you could probably get for about $20. This one I paid $126.60 for. Now, this isn't a 9.8 because there's a little bit right here. So it probably brings it down to a 9.4 or a 9.6. But dual signed, I've already seen this going for about 190 and up for this book. So this is another book that I would highly recommend. Obviously, if you can't afford the version variant or the other variant, you can get the regular issue. Again, you're probably going to pay about $25 to $30.00. After this video, you'll probably see it go up to 40 because, you know, people want to try and get as much money as they can out of people. You will see that none of mine will be up for sale. So even though I promote these books, I don't do it and all of a sudden put them on eBay and try and take advantage of that. I, I Like I said, I take a lot of pride in the fact that I take my influencing very seriously and I don't take advantage of it. Um... Let me just get to the next two. These are books I bought a while ago. You'll notice that with a pattern with me that I always buy these books before everybody wants them because the idea is to get them at cheaper prices. Now, this is a book that I was telling people to get a while ago, probably about a year, year and a half ago. I wish it was a 9.8, but I got this one graded. This is another rumor. This is Incredible Hulk number 449. Let me see if I can bring this... There you go. The light a little bit better. All right, so this is Hulk 449. This is a 9.6. This is the first appearance of 
right here. I was going to say the Thundercats, but definitely not. The Thunderbolts. Now, here's the rumor. They have basically confirmed without specifically confirming that Norman Osborn is, spoiler alert, going to be showing up soon. I won't say how I know that information. I won't say when. Some of you may or may not know. I don't want to ruin that. But they're saying that not the Green Goblin himself, but Norman Osborn, the person that eventually becomes Green Goblin, is going to be a major player in the uh, next phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, those of you may or may not know, he had a big part, and I won't say how, in the Thunderbolts. So, this is something that could end up happening. This is another one of those what-ifs maybe might possibly happen, but here's the thing. You're buying this cheaper than if it was confirmed. If it's not confirmed and you don't spend a lot of money, well, you don't go crazy. Because as you can see here, I always write the price down. I paid $58.83 for this book. Because I bought this about a year, year and a half ago. This book already is about, in a 9.6, about 150 to 175 Just imagine if it ends up becoming a, a TV show or a part of the movie. Again, you're taking a chance, but I wouldn't regret this. If it doesn't work, I paid under $60 for this book. It's all about timing. That's why I'm trying to tell people to change their mindset and don't just buy the flavor of the month when everybody buys stuff. I mean, you know, look at Weapon H. Look at um, that Rob Liefeld Mr. X or whatever it is. Look even at um, Naomi. Those prices are starting to go down like I've predicted because people get all excited is that urgency of I got to get it now that creates a demand. And what do you think happens to prices when demand goes up? They increase. And then when that demand goes down, what happens? The price goes down. So the idea is never get the hype right at that moment you want to get it either before the hype ever starts or wait until that hype dies down. So many characters over the past few years, they've come and gone. And, you know, it doesn't matter how much people wish it to be true and how many people pump it up and say, oh, you know, you're crazy or you're negative. Look how many times I've been right. Now, Naomi going down is not hundreds of dollars, but there has been a plateau and it's going down like maybe five, ten dollars because a 9.8 at one point, um, GoCollect.com had it over $400. Now they're showing it as $200. That's a pretty big decrease. Now that doesn't mean it's going to stay that way because there are plateaus, peaks, and valleys. The idea is stay away from it when it's high, buy it when it's a dip. So when I mean low, uh, going down, I don't mean it's crashing. But you have to understand how these things work. If you base everything solely on emotion you're going to fail more times than you succeed. If you notice the books that I buy, I tend to get them before the major hypes happen, which means I'm paying a lot less. Now, the advantage of that is you can get more copies. So if you love it, you could love it four times more. Or you can use the extra money to pay some bills or put gas in your car, whatever you want. The point is don't always base things just at that moment. Like even these books I'm showing now, I don't want you to just go straight on to eBay and buy the first one you see. Make sure you wait for deals. Make sure you ask for deals. Do the things like going to comic book stores and things like that. I don't have to do it because I buy these in advance. And I'm trying to share that information. And a lot of these I've already shown on previous videos. So it does pay to watch my videos. And if you're one of my power viewers, make sure you mention that in the comments section. So this way people will know. If a power viewer is a person that watches a video from beginning to end. Now I am basing it on the honor system because obviously there's no way of checking. And it, it doesn't mean you even have to do it in one sitting. Like there's a video that I did with the Q&A which is three hours long. Some people said it took like three days to watch the video. You're still a power viewer. You don't have to watch it completely from beginning to end without stopping. If you need some breaks, I understand, because trust me, hearing my voice for too long, I'd go crazy. All right, so here's the last book. This is the one that's pretty much going to be the closest one to a guarantee at this point, because it's already been stated in the Marvel Universe. They want to use this character. He was actually supposed to be in Endgame, but they deleted the scene. So that already means they are going to be using this character. But again, they've already talked about it. And this is a book, again, I have several copies of this. I bought years ago. This is a book you should have in your collection. This is Nova issue number one. I got this years ago at a 
paid a total of $126.75. This book currently is going for about $175 ish. And that's before any kind of announcement. But considering Phase 4 and the Guardians of the Galaxy and everything, they're all going to be about outer space. This one is pretty darn close to a guarantee without being a guarantee. Now, obviously, it depends on, you know, is it a one-and-done character? Is it just a brief cameo appearance? Or is it something majorly significant? Um, there have been rumors saying that he might get his own movie, and if it goes well, he could get his own trilogy. And if that happens, that's best-case scenario. This book is going to skyrocket. If he just makes a cameo appearance or ends up on the cutting room floor, this book is going to sink like the Titanic. So again, you have to have your ability to know there are risks involved. Um, Smoke Banshee said, I thought you were going to say Miles Morales. I've been preaching Miles Morales since 2016. Um, if people haven't gotten that by now, they're, they're, they're missing out. So yes, Miles Morales is a great one. But also, you know, Spider-Gwen is another one. But I've been talking about those since 2015. Um, I bought like 15 to 20 copies of Edge of Spider-Verse 2. And the same thing with Ultimate Fallout 4. Back when they were, like the Edge of Spider-Verse 2, my average price was $27 a piece. Two of them came back 9.8, so I didn't have them all graded yet. Uh, my Ultimate Fallout 4s, they're all still in the original bags. I was buying those between $10 and $12 a piece. I was telling people years ago... So my track record is pretty good on predicting. It doesn't guarantee it. doesn't mean you're going to be a success because it always depends on not only when you buy them, but how much you pay for them. If you use emotion and just buy the first thing you see or you go with the hype of some other channels that are trying to, you know, sell the very things that they promote, you run the risk. But if you don't do the research, if you don't do your own homework, if you don't do the work and you don't have patience, you are going to fail more times than you're ever going to succeed. Now, obviously, I didn't buy this the day it came out at 30 cents, but, you know, you got to buy it the best chance you can. So I got a bunch of these, like, ungraded for under $20. Nowadays, you're probably going to spend 50 to $75 for an ungraded book. But in my opinion, it's still worth taking the chance on if you are willing to take the risk of a possible failure of any of these books happening. So those are the six books. If you haven't seen them, uh, just rewind this. Give it a thumbs up if you appreciate this and share it because it does help my channel grow. Uh, once again, I will put the link in the description for my comic book mystery boxes. Like I said, the money that goes towards those boxes help um, us potentially start to move. Um, and also it helps with medication and special foods uh, for our cat. So anybody that helps with those mystery boxes, it's going for a good cause. And by the way, for the people that have asked, Luna's definitely starting to feel better. It's just with her problems, it's going to be for the rest of her life. But she definitely escaped death twice in the past month. So she's getting a little thicker again, getting her strength back. And uh, I appreciate every well wish out there and prayer. And anybody that got the mystery boxes, it's helped me be able to buy a lot of medications and special foods for her. Which, if you know anything about organic, you know, non-grade cat foods and things like that, you know how expensive they can be. So let me do today's surprise subscriber shout-out. If you want one here, you don't have to be a subscriber, but I hope I will earn your subscription. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Check my playlist out, because I have plenty of videos like this that give recommendations, and you can see my past track record of how many of these I've been pretty accurate with. You know, some people try and discredit me for whatever reasons, whether it's hatred or jealousy, whatever. You know, like they say, by their deeds you should know them. Go by my track record and base your own opinion from there. If you don't think I am good at this, you know, you're more than welcome to watch other people and get their opinion. But like I always say, do your own research, do your homework, know what you're investing in, get rid of the emotional part, think logically, ask for deals and wait for deals and you will do better than you, you will succeed more than you'll fail. And that will make you happier. So today's surprise subscriber shout out, I'm going to go with somebody I haven't seen here before. So we're going to go back a little bit. So if you're still here, you might be a potential um, power viewer. But we'll see if you're watching by seeing if you'll respond. We're going to go with David Connolly. So you are today's surprise subscriber shout out. Um, please make sure once this is live, uh, once it's no longer live in the processes, give him a shout out because people appreciate that. And I want to thank each and every one of you. This is one of my... Um, 
highest watched live videos in a while. That means a lot to me. It means people are interested in these kind of things. Believe me, I know why most people watch comic book videos. They want to know the next possible investment. So I know there are people out there who hate that. But this is the reality. If this was a video just sharing like an, an a random act of kindness, this would have 30 views. So the reality is people want to know about this stuff, whether some want to, you know, admit it or not. So thanks for watching, guys and girls. I hope you appreciated this video. Your thumbs up will show me you did. Your sharing will guarantee that. Your subscription will make me proud. So be an Ultra Power viewer. Watch all of my videos from beginning to end. Let me know what you thought about this in the comment section. Check out those Marvel, um, well, not even Marvel. They're regular comic book mystery boxes. They can be all Marvel if you want. Because even though they're mystery boxes, um, I if you want all DC or all Marvel, I will do that for you. Just mention it when you order it. And also, um, with the mystery boxes, if you have a YouTube comic book channel and you do a live unboxing of my mystery box and you let me know when you ordered it that you intend to do a video, I will add in an extra comic for free as a thank you. And once you make the video, I will share the link to get other people to your channel to subscribe to your channel. It doesn't matter if it's the most expensive package or the minimum smallest package. So I will throw in an extra comic and I will share the link to your video. Obviously, you have to give me the link and let me know you made the video. And I will share it so this way other people will subscribe most likely to your channel and help your channel out. So thank you about that. I hope you will uh, give it a try. Like I said, it is for a good cause. And uh, don't forget, it is not you, it is not I, it is We Love Comics. Thanks for coming to check out my video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. Peace out.